And back to working on a little model, my monitor model, 3H scale. I got the flywheel uh, tucked up in the leaves. I'm just uh, doing some little rough figuring here. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, take a cut or two here. And then that way uh, I've got a nice, uh, nice grip here to grip on to reverse it, put it in a chuck. And then I get to dial it in again, see where the best spot is, and um, start cutting the flywheel. I don't know how much it's going to vibrate if I just hold it from uh, from here, and if, it, if the, uh, the rim's going to uh, vibrate, I'm not too sure. I've done this before, and I've usually bolted up to a face plate, or I had a smaller uh, four jaw four chuck, and I was able to um, hold it inside the flywheel, but I'm not too sure. But right now, I'm just experimenting to see how this is going to work. So uh, I'll get this set up and see what we can do. Well, I did a little bit of experimenting, experimenting. Uh, this is what I was just talking about. I was just going to, that way I have something good to, uh, uh, to anchor, well, good spot to put a uh, chuck to grab on. And I was just experimenting to see how well uh, I'm holding the chuck down here and how it's going to uh, cut the uh, rim of the flavor. And it's just about perfect. I'm happy with that. I'm just experimenting. If I'm used to, um, I think my first one I model I built, it was a 12 inch flywheel, but I did it on a 14 inch lathe. I, uh, much smaller, <laughs> more like uh, that one. But uh, I've never machined one on a big lathe, and this lathe, there's no vibration or anything. So, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to redial it. Take it out, so grab it here, and the reason why I want it away from the um, the chuck is I want to be able to do this cut, and this cut, and this cut, and all in one setup. Uh, maybe, uh, I'm not too sure, oh, and, uh, yeah, I have to see about the um, in-depth with a pulley. To make sure because I like to have everything all all true to itself so but uh, we'll see what we can do here all right you can see I got it set back up in the lathe I reversed it and it's just about perfect what I want I'm just taking a light little cut here I don't want to take anything heavy And it's looking really good. I'm quite impressed. See, I've, I think I've only taken off about 25, 30 foul off the OD already, which you can see I've got a very nice finish. I, I like to have a little bit of a machine mark. So, I still got some more to take off, but uh, they were calling for a straight 9 inch, but uh, it'll end up it's going to be like... Uh, 8.95 it just, there's not enough meat on here and I'm not going to sit there and start bondling the or JB Weldon building this up that's fine it can be a little bit smaller so I'm just going to finish, cut this till I get a nice smooth finish and then uh, we'll work on the sides and then we'll face this off through everything up there and you know 
deep distance channel, and then we'll take our measurement from whatever I have to take off on that side. And then I think while I have it all set up, we're still going. I forgot to mention we'll bore a hole here, and I think it's um, 9 16th, whatever it is. So I've got the crankshaft right here. I still gotta do the radius on I'm gonna do that by on a grinder. The radius. It's gotta come down a bit. Mm. And still put the keyway. I got everything here. I just one of your time. Well ring that out and now I'll have to do it to the second flywheel. So So now I'm cutting the inside. I've got a pretty slow RPM to um, that way it doesn't vibrate, and I got a fairly sharp tool in there. I've already done this side. how much of a uh, how much of the pattern moves when it was forward it was just a little off but I've seen worse stuff than this so this is not too bad well after a couple hours I finally finished uh, most of the machining on this uh, flywheel I'm not going to uh the book says to drill a hole here and drill a hole through here and then split this to put a bolt like with the original engine is i'm not going to bother i'm just gonna put a key in here and put two set screws in it and that'll lock it in for if you want to get really technical yeah but ah it'll work i'll, I'll make a I'll, I'll, I'll put this on the mill and i'll Square these off and I'll make a little nut and put on and make it look like it factory and so all I got left to do I've done my uh, governor part uh, that goes on the flywheel the, the other flywheel I will put the um, the grooves in for the uh, pulley this side I'm not going to and um, remember I still got to finish off the crank I gotta shave that down a little bit and then put a radius in uh, but it's looking pretty good so far, so now I'll just go check up the other flywheel into the uh, lathe and do it all over again, but I'm happy how it all come out, it's all nice finish. Then after that I'll get a di uh, my little um, you know, Dremel and I'll clean this all up. I think I'm going to paint this uh, engine up pretty nice, so whoever gets it someday will have a nice engine. I guess we'll get tack on to the second flywheel now.
Well, I took the measurement and I'm right same size as the other flywheel. But the bad part is, which is not really too bad, uh, another five foul nut would have cleaned that up. But, ah, uh, it's a cast and not everything's gonna be 100%, so I'm gonna let, I'll let that go. This will all go disappear in here. And uh, here this will disappear. And you see there's a little hard spot in the, the casting right there. Where you can see it's a little shinier. But other than that, it's pretty easy to machine them. Not too bad. And casting, I can't complain. I've seen worse stuff in this, so. And I've seen better, and it's just not bad. I'm not complaining, so. So. Oh, anyway, I'll get this set. Well, I think maybe I'm done for tonight. There's about, I don't know. It's about a 50 now, mile an hour wind outside right now. Oh, you can see I'm painting an Indian bike tomorrow. I got the frame. There's the fork. And there's the other part. I'll do that part tomorrow of the painting. Because um, I don't have a lot of room. I got the tank and the fender and that. But at least I'll get that part started. And that done. And again, we're in another damn storm again. Oh, I don't know if you see, but that's what I'm thinking about now. You go out in the open like a blizzard, so. Uh, it sucks. Can't do much about it. Being a real crappy year for uh, snow and high wind, but. Oh well. Enough rambling on. Well, shut this up and see where we are from there. Okay, you can see on this side I already put a radius in it. I just, uh, I was my little rat for the right hand side. I just stuck it in the grinder and, you know, came up with something that I like. And here's the uh, left side. And all I do is just, I just go back and forth until you're happy what you got. Take a little bit of emery cloth. That's good enough for me. Remember, it's a hobby. It's something to have fun. Devin has to be a hundred percent with the blueprint tape. So, and now we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now I'm drilling out the center so we can uh, ream it out. Uh, what 960 so let's take our time we're not in a race or anything so This is my uh, next bit. This will be the final drilling and then after that I'll use a reamer. Okay, I um, slowed down the speed. And now this is the final size. This is the uh, 916 reamer. I'm just gonna run the reamer in slow, nothing too crazy. And there we go. I'll take this apart and then we'll, I'll show you where we'll slide the crankshaft in and it should be within a thou. It should be pretty close tolerant for what, we, for what we want. 
Anyway, I have the crankshaft in my hand and slide it in. Oh, nice, good, tight fit. You can. So that'll work perfect. Um. Hmm. I know I still gotta um, put keyways in here and finish doing the radius on the webs here. I'll do that by hand on a on a a disc grinder just because i don't feel like knocking this maybe bend it never know so um i guess now we will uh hmm, maybe flip the flywheel around chuck it here and cut off the back and finish the length here i think that's got to be what three quarters from center at least with one inch from center and um Hmm. Oh, I got to chamfer this down, put a little radius in, uh, yeah, a little radius there, and clean that up a little bit, and, you know, we'll see how the whole flywheel looks together on the crankshaft soon. Okay, I got both flywheels uh, done. I, I still have some more, I still got to do, uh, um, the pulley, uh, machine to pull you in, and um, still gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna put fake nuts on here and make it look like there's a bolt, but and I'll just put, uh, like I say, a, a keyway in here and um, have a, a lock pin on both sides. And I did that on my other model, and that worked great. So, uh, so this couldn't ask for anything. The shaft is beautiful. There's that one, and then that side, that's where the governor goes on in here. It's like a little plungedom uh, governor weight thing. I'll, there'll be a video on doing that too. I'll show everything much as I can. Uh, see if I can there we go. So there we go. Like almost a complete flywheel with crankshaft. Uh, we're safe there. Don't want it to roll away. <laughs> so I guess um, yeah. So that's what progress we made so far. I think I'm done for tonight. I think it's just a, what past one one o'clock in the morning. So morning comes early, and um, yeah, you know anybody can do this. You, just think about it, take your time, and just because there's numbers on that blueprint doesn't mean you have to go by that number. Just, you know, things can be fudged a bit, and then I mean, you're dealing with casting, so it's not always 100% from when pattern things shift and move, so. But this one's not bad. There's a little bit of flaws in it, but I've seen worse stuff than this, so. Um... Yeah, I think we'll leave it for this, and, um, I don't know what the next thing, maybe we'll finish off, uh, I'm not too sure what the next thing we'll do, but, but uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, that all helps, you know, let everybody know, I'm, this is still new for me, so, I'll catch you on the next one.